Hey guys, Timmy D with Mid-South 360. I have done a pretty lengthy video that was really focused uh, on beginners, guys brand new to collecting ground control points for their drone mapping using the Reach RS GPS receivers and EasyServe. This right here is going to be just a very quick demonstration of how easy it is to process. I'm not going over any details. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm already connected to the Reach RS unit. Uh, I need to download my file, so I'm going to go to Survey, and it's this one right here. I'm going to export that as a CSV file. Documents. That's. Airways. Okay. And then I need to get my. log file and there that one is okay so everything's been downloaded there now I need to unzip these files always unzip them in the to the same folder so I choose uh, for 7-zip I do extract here same thing for the CSV survey file, 7-zip, extract here. Okay, that's done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut this thing off. We don't need it. Shut down. Okay, now we're going to use the conversion utility that EasyServe provides and just real quick I'm gonna let me jump back over here so I use the reach RS units I have two of these I also have the little reach RTK which is now called the M plus but man quality wise these things are outstanding when they came out um, you know they were considered a disruptor in the GPS collection market and they've done just that I mean equipment used to be in the thousands and thousands of dollars and these guys came out provided quality products this right here now this is an L1 receiver you know your much more expensive stuff is L2 which is dealing with the frequency but um, anyway let's move on the processing software that I use is Effigis and it's the easy serve cannot say enough great things about this company software is awesome their tech support is awesome so uh, with these two companies, I mean, I'm just tickled to death. All right, so moving right along, here is the conversion. What this does is convert the survey file along with the raw data file to get it in the format that EasyServe needs to work with. So let's go back to my surveys. It was under this folder. There's my Airways test and I also need to log, it's asking right here for the raw data file, so I'm going to do that. It was in the same folder, so there it is. Now, um, I mentioned this in the other video, but I'll say when you click on generate, it does not tell you anything uh, that it's done. So I'm going to, oops, put that up. When I click on generate, you look down here below, you're going to see the XML file that it creates there see it popped in right there so I wish they would put a little pop-up to let you know that the process completed but I'm gonna close this window now I'm gonna open up the actual easy serve software and it'll open up it'll run through a little update messages I don't even know what it's updating but it does something when it's done it already defaults to this observations folder that's where you need to be all you do is drag in the XML document and it will look for the closest cores station and it will pull in the correction files from that core station now when you do this I mean you're gonna have to wait you can't go out collect data run in and process it takes time for the core stations to have the files that can be downloaded so you may be waiting usually after an hour um, but this was done yesterday so I now that's just my 
raw data file. I go to sites. Here's everything that I surveyed right there. And I haven't done any processing yet. So if I look, there's the field coordinates that were brought in. They have not been corrected uh, using PPK post-processing. You see it says fixed right here. That is because I did have a base unit there set up over a known point. Regardless of your real-time solution, let's say you did have RTK uh, set up and using that, when I'm post-processing, the, the RTK has nothing to do with us post-processing. We're, we're just taking the base file, the log file, and we're going to process. I'm going to go up and click on Tools, Process Auto. So I just want to make it clear, I could have either had RTK yesterday or not. Used the same. It wouldn't have made any difference on the actual processing that I'm doing now. So now, and it is now, well, earlier I said it was bringing in the um, correction files. That's what it's doing now. When you do F9 or process auto, that is when it's actually looking for the closest unit and bringing that in. So it takes just a very short amount of time for it to bring that in, do the processing, and it'll come up. I had six total sites and it actually got a fix on all six of those. You know, there are situations where you may not get a fix on all of them, but in this case, all six were done. Uh, I can go, here are the field coordinates. So these are the coordinates that were just brought in right here. These are the post-processed uh, coordinates. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and I'm going to do tools, export, sites. I want to export, so I'm going to do two different exports. I want to do uh, the first one is the field coordinates. This is unprocessed. So I'm going to do OK. And I'm going to call it pre-processed. Okay. And save it. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Export sites. This time I'm going to do our post-processed. Save that. Okay, we're done with uh, Easy Serve because all I'm going to do, I mean, we those files, that post process file, that's what you would use to bring that into your uh, Pix4D or whatever mapping solution you're using, or if you just wanted to manually copy. Uh, no, all right. Now what I want to do is we're going to go to Google Earth, and I just want to show you. the difference in the original stuff and then what was processed. I'm going to do file. I'm going to import. Uh, let's see. So it doesn't matter which one I do first. There's our post processed. Next. Next I'll just hit finish. I'm going to apply a template. I set up a template in Google Earth so I can have my markers GCP tutorial. Alright. Now let's go ahead and import the other ones. Import. And, oh crap, which one did I bring in first? Post. Okay, so file. Import. Pre. Finish. So now what I'm going to do, let's expand these out. Just like the, the first one and the first one. All right. Now, Google Earth, you can't, uh, there, this right, right above my mouse cursor, there's a manhole cover. So I'm going to try to get in as close as I can. There we go. 
Now, you can see you can see the one on the left, that's what I post processed. The one on the right was the original um, point. So let's turn this off. I'm going to turn on all. Alright, so if I come over here, you can still see there's every one of these has missed. Like there's a manhole cover right here. I move up to that one. There's the manhole cover. And even in the street, you see the manhole. Every one of these, now they're all consistently off because I had a base station that was stationed right over where you see my mouse. There's a known benchmark, which I, I set up, and then I was using that to give corrections to uh, my rover. Now, I did not key in the known point on the base station. I just simply set it up over there because I wanted to survey that, and I'll do a different video for that one to show the accuracy. But every one of these are consistently off, but then once you post-process, now you can see that every one of them, I mean, they're just, they're right on the money. So that's easy serve. That's how easy it is. Um, if you want fast and simple and be able to process your data within minutes, that's the software you want to use. I hope this has been beneficial.